Hi everyone, it's Tracy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using a P Alleyway Stamps stamp set and I have a piece of white card stock. I just chose this kind of blob image. It has little eyes so it's kind of like a fuzzy monster. I'm just going to stamp this on my background with the Simon Says Stamp Fog Ink. So I'm just creating my own kind of pattern paper in my background. And I did not, I just eyeballed these so the little monsters were not even at all on there. But that's okay because it doesn't really show and it's going to be in my background anyway. So I'm just stamping this, creating my own pattern. And then I'm just going to continue and stamping the entire background until it is completely full of these cute little fuzzy monsters. So once I got that done, I'm going to move on to the front part or the top part of my card. You'll kind of see what it looks like in the end. I'm using this tall little monster. It kind of reminds me of like an ant, but a really tall ant with long legs. <laughs> I'm going to ink this up with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and I'm going to stamp this on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. And I'm going to stamp it in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to be cutting off the top part of this. You'll kind of see what I mean in a minute here. And then I'm also going to stamp this little present in his hands. Or it's a little cake, I should say. There are little present that you can also stamp in his hands. Alright, so then I can go ahead and color this in with my Copic markers. I did some really simple Copic coloring, so I'm coloring in all of the parts of this monster with the B32, which is a really light blue color. And then I'll add in my darker color, which is the B34. And then I'm going to add a little bit darker color with my B37. It's just going to add a little bit more shading to the edges of this cute little monster. And then I'll go back in once again and blend all of these together with my B32. Alright, and then my last thing, I need to color in this cake, so I'm using the G07, and then using the BG34 to color in the candle, and then for the little flame, I'm just using the Y15. So I'm taking my ruler, and I'm just going to draw a line across this, and this is going to be where I cut out my image. So I'm drawing a straight line on each side of that monster. And then I'm going to cut that out. So you can see how I cut on straight on the lines and then around the little monster. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I chose the one that said Monster Wishes. I'm going to stamp that right in the center of that big white space. So to make sure that this part really stands out, I'm going to add some faux stitched lines across the top of that white piece. And I'm using my Tuxedo Black Memento Pen or marker I should say. And all of these supplies that I used will be linked below if you're interested in purchasing any of them. And then I'm going to assemble this onto my card. So I have my white A2 size card base. I'm going to place my fuzzy monster background on there. And then I'm going to pop up this piece with some 3D foam squares. So I'm using the larger ones from Best Creation. And I'm going to cover this background with them. So I'm going to put them all over just to make sure that it's completely popped up and then parts of it won't cave when I send it in the mail. And then I just had to cut one of them in half so that it would fit onto my monster. I'm using my nonstick cutter bee scissors, which I absolutely love. And 
And those are also the scissors that I use for fussy cutting. If you're looking for a good pair, I definitely recommend those because the smaller blades really help with fussy cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the backings off from those. And then I can hear, adhere this to the bottom of my card. So I'm going to line it up on the bottom corners and then stick it down into place. So I'm going to round the upper right hand and left hand corner with my We Are Memory Keepers quarter inch corner chomper. It's kind of a mouthful to say a tongue twister. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle these silver star sequins onto my card. I just think they work really well because they're not like girly sequins. They're not really sparkly. The stars are just kind of more fun and this would be great for a boy card. So I'm adhering these down with my multi matte medium. I just like to put a dot of the adhesive down and then I push the star sequin into place. Alrighty, and then that is my finished card for today, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you back here next time. My holiday card series videos are starting on Monday, so you can definitely look forward to those. Bye!